Hey guys, uh, this is Justin again, just giving you our day two update. Um, here is a little bit of what some of our students said about um, today and yesterday a little bit uh, with what they're learning and kind of what God is teaching them. Well, this, this week we're working at Markland and it's just such a fascinating experience to work with these people. It's a group that not many people experience, not many people get to work with and we're just blessed to see that. Uh, I'm definitely learning a lot this week about just uh, leadership, camaraderie, all that stuff, all that good stuff. I mean, I'm here with a great group of people and I wouldn't trade for the world. All right, something this week that I've learned or experienced is people at Markland are remarkably intelligent and extremely nice to people. Like, there's a certain client that he always lifts other people up. He always wants them to be happy. Like even if he's not in a good mood, he'll still be lifting people up, and other people will be lifting him up. So he can lift other people up. It's just this roundabout way of people trying to be making other people happy. And it's really great. Yesterday in my morning devotional, I learned that. As Christians, we are not of this world because Christ is not of this world, and we were saved through his blood, which makes us not of this world. And when Paul went to Ephesus to speak to the people, he didn't speak to them right away. He learned about their culture and about their religions before he spoke to them about the gospel. So he got to know where they're coming from and what they're about. But he learned about their culture without conforming to it. So that kept him not of the world. He was of Christ. And at Mark once, we have to work with the clients. We have to learn about their culture because it really is a whole new world in there. It's like their own little community. And we can't just go in there and speak to them and expect them to speak perfectly back to us because we can't. So we have to learn how to be flexible with that and how to how to work with them. So that's what Here's a little bit about um, from tonight over at our session at Community Fellowship, which is over in West Chicago. Uh, it was a great time. Bo, uh, Bo Shears uh, spoke tonight, uh, and a little bit of worship uh, was thrown in there as well. I uh, just want to give you a little bit of a glimpse of what uh, we experienced tonight. Again, remember we're using our Facebook page as an opportunity for you to um, find out what's going on in our Chicago trip. Uh, if you would like text updates um, for Chicago, please go um, further down on this uh, Facebook page, um, on the student page, uh, which is at facebook.com forward slash Baypoint students, and find the link for text updates for Chicago. Um, otherwise, tomorrow we have a free day, and uh, we're going to be heading down into Chicago, hitting up Michigan Avenue, eating some Chicago pizza, having a Chicago hot dog, um, just having a good time. So uh, if you uh, want to send a message out to one of your students, um, post it right here on the Bay Point Students Facebook page, and we'll be sure to get it to them. Catch you guys later. Yeah.